Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you that uh, how can you import text file uh, into origin software. So I open a file in a notepad and as you can see, I have a data like two columns. So I, wa I want to import a text file having data in uh, in columns into origin. So let's start. So as you can see, I imported uh, already that file now let's see how to import that one so uh, for that um, go to file uh, go to, uh, so go to data and there, here is an option of import from file over here go to import wizard now over here so now over here you can see that there are data types so i know that uh, the my data type is ascii and now on the second thing is that I want to find data source so I just browse that browse the file which you want to import and then you can also import more than one files by clicking all these things so let's import more than one files click on add files click on ok now over here is import filter yeah so it's like ASCII I just write text description and then um, you can see how, how to write this okay afterwards so then click on next now over here the thing is that uh, this is a main important thing over here i just see so uh, what happens like if it is already checked already determined header uh, uncheck that box and you just need to remember you just need to figure it out how many header you have so like i have this model second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eight so i have eight header and then these values are started so for that I need to select 8 headers so the number of subheader is 8 and then uh, you can select like the first one is log name second one is the unit the third one is the command and the fourth one is uh, like so over here click on 0 3 to 3 or like that and then from 4 to 8 it's like system parameter or if you want so let's uh, you can change that like system parameters into one to one that that depends on you so like four is to four and then let's see the fifth one so as you can see from fifth to eight is user parameters so based on that you can just um, select the colors and select the column label assignments okay so now then this is the preview font system and preview lines just want to see how many how the data will look like you can select the preview lines so if you select 500 you can see the 500 data points now click on next over here you don't need to do anything it's like variable extraction which uh, you don't need to do over here it's like file name option we are not interested in this one now now this is the uh, next important thing over here you can see the data columns so you need to select this tab space so if you select tab you can see that it is making it will make a kind of this kind of column okay so we need a tab and space to make like two different uh, values for two different columns if you select comma it will like it will not show you that all the entire data semicolon no and then if you select tab and space it will not give you the data for that one so you need to select a tab and space like this which can um, divide your data into two columns and then number of columns you need to make it two because we have two columns if you will if you uh, give three uh, another column will form but it does but as we know that it doesn't have the data over here it's only two columns so we need to give number of columns as two mm -hmm. and then keep target column format so we, we need to keep um, it will keep the that kind of format column designation you can change whatever you want but i just choose unchange if you select as x2 as you can see this designation it will change so i just keep unchange and then date format if you have date you can see that this is the date format but uh, i don't have the date and time so i did it i will just uh, make it as like that one here is the numeric numeric separator so as you can see if you, if you are changing that numeric separator 
um, whatever you want you can make that one separator spark line you can add and then force uh, remove leading zeros from numbers so uh, you can check or uncheck that it means that remove leading zeros from now so it will uh, remove the leading zeros like the zeros which are coming from the, the numbers that's fine and force rows to same size by filling missing value that's you don't need to check that one because it will uh, manipulate your data Let's click on next and over here you can see uh, we don't want to parse here like all files um, it's like um, data selection but we want you none know, like we are, don't want partial data click on next and over here you can see that you can save this setting and I just write text as you can see in the first first time it's like file description text I just save this format to import every file for a text which has which is having this kind of thing so we just click on the finish and as you can see the files has been formed and that's how you can import these files That's all for this video. Thank you.